Hi, this is Nikki Randolph with this edition of the Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. Today we are going to talk about veterans sponsored scholarships that are available in Queen Anne's County. And I have a guest with me today, and it's Michael DeYoung, who is, a who is a recipient of last year's scholarship winner for Queen Anne's County. And he used that money to go to Frostburg University, mm -hmm. is that correct? Or yep, Frostburg, Frostburg College? State University. Right. And just tell us a little bit about your experience of uh, filling out that scholarship and and how to decide how you're going to use it and everything. So well, it wasn't a long process, but um, definitely had to get it done to fill out all the application to get the money, and um, definitely a big help for uh, getting into school and uh, being able to pay for the first couple semesters. So right. it's uh, definitely a, a big help for you know the money that I don't have. It's good to have scholarships. The scholarship that Michael was awarded last year was the Edward L. Walmsley Scholarship, and the award amount was for $2,000. And in order to be qualified for that scholarship, you had to have A, live on Kent Island or in Queen Anne's County, which you do, and you had to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Community involvement, which was a big thing. And, and just tell us a little bit of your community involvement that puts you to the top. Um, I try to stay really uh, involved with the community through um, through just volunteering at the school and um, through uh, boys scouts. Boys scouts, yeah. <laughs> right, scouts, Michael. So. Michael is uh, one of our premier scouts in Ken Island, Troop Two Seventy Eight. He is an Eagle Scout and. Um, Great, great guy. He volunteers a lot at the Legion. He does a lot of community service. And that's one of the criteria for being awarded this scholarship is your community service, what you do. And um, we're excited because not only does that carry out for this year, but he takes that expertise. And I'm sure while you're up in Frostburg having your college experience, that you're, you know, helping out around in the college area as well. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like to uh, try to stay involved through uh, clubs and other teams that they have up at the uh, university. And it, uh, it definitely helps. I'm definitely uh, just as involved up there than I was down here. Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. Well, it's scholarship season, but, uh, seniors, and uh, the Edward L. Wamsley Scholarship, uh, your deadline for applying is May 15th, and you can go to your local high school, Ken Island High School or Queen Anne's County High School and your guidance counselor already have the application packages or you can actually go to any of your local American Legions and they also have the packages as well or you can find us on Facebook and we have all the information loaded there as well. Now not only does the Ken Island American Legion and the Centerville Post American Legion sponsor the Edward L. Walmsley Scholarship that comes from the Northeastern Shore District uh, American Legion group. We also have several other scholarships that are only available for people in Queen Anne's County. Um, actually, let me go back here for a second. You can use the Edward L. Walmsley Scholarship for any college in the United States or wherever you want to go. Um, our past winners, they've chosen to attend uh, the University of Maryland, the Citadel, Frostburg, Michael's going to Frostburg, uh, LSU. We've had former students that went to Oklahoma University, uh, Auburn, so Harvard. And it's really, you know, got a good list of great applicants that have gone to these really big schools outside of Maryland as well. But we also have several scholarships that are available within the Maryland. Uh, one of them we have is at Salisbury University. And you have to contact Salisbury to get their... Uh, application deadline because they haven't posted that yet, but it's the Metzger Scholarship Fund and the award amount varies. So um, I think they start anywhere between $500 and can go up to $2,500 for the scholarship year. And the priority goes to people who are from Kent Island first. And if we have no students that are eligible from Kent Island, then we look at Queen Anne's County. Um, but we don't ever have that problem because we have a lot of our students that are from Kent Island that have the Salisbury University Scholarship, and that one is renewable. That means you can apply for it every year the whole time that you are going to Salisbury College. So look it up. Talk to your guidance counselors at the Salisbury University and apply for that scholarship. And then we can move on down to Chesapeake College. And their scholarship application deadlines are, is April 25th this year for new students for new freshmen. And here's just four of the scholarships that we have available that are sponsored by our local veterans organizations. 
Ken Island American Legion Post 278 has the Harry Wrightson Tolson Scholarship. The amount varies again. It's four scholarships that are available and preference are given first to Ken Island students and then after that Queen Anne's County. Jeff Davis Post 18, they have a scholarship, amount varies, and their preference is to their post members, then veterans, family, then the QAC residents, Queen Anne's County residents. And then the Graysonville, Graysonville VFW uh, Post 7464, they have a scholarship for freshmen for $1,600. And again, all you have to do is contact the financial aid office at Chesapeake College and they will give you the information for when you should apply for those. And then, as if anybody who has parents of kids who were in college or used to be in college, there is a lot of scholarship money that is out there and is available and people just don't always apply for it. And so if you go to our website on Queen Anne's County Veterans Update, we have a list of every scholarship funding website out there so you can go out there and you can find more sources for more education for, or to pay for your education because we know it's not cheap but we just want you all to know that your veterans organization in Queen Anne's County we're here to help and all you have to do is just get the information from your local post or your local VFW and apply for the scholarships that make sure you meet the deadlines. College is a great way to get your education, obviously, and uh, as part of being a part of a veterans organization, we're really excited that we can help students like Michael here to further their education. And if there's anything else you'd like to add at this time, Michael? Um, no, everything's good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, don't forget, find us on Facebook. If you visit our site, all of our video shows, all of our information can be easily accessed. Just search for Queen Anne's County Veterans Update. This is Nikki Randolph, and this has been the latest edition of your Queen Anne's County Update. Don't forget, it's scholarship time. Seniors, get, the, get your applications into us as soon as possible. You all have a great day.